Every day is a struggle for Veron Bauer, whose only source of livelihood has been manual farming. Working on people's farms earned her some 40,000 naira every month. That's about $200. But at 75, her strength is failing and she's unable to do manual work. Veron has now taken a less tasking job, sweeping compounds. Now she barely takes home some 10,000 naira monthly, but she's still not excited about the government's plan to hand out 5,000 naira to people like her. It's a good thing that President Buhari's government has decided to give people like us 5,000 naira. But how far can that go? After eating today and tomorrow, what will become of me the day after tomorrow? I would rather the government invest that money in creating jobs for children like my son. Like Verum, there are millions of Nigerians caught in similar situations, unable to cater for themselves. The World Bank says about 112 million Nigerians are extremely poor, living below $1.25 daily. The figures amount to 66% of the country's population. Now the government says it will pay 1 million of those vulnerable a monthly 5,000 naira stipend, a fraction of the entire poor population. But how much economic sense does that make? Economist Tope Fashua thinks the handout has a potential of breeding dependent Nigerians. Nigerians have never been dependent on anyone. Nigerians don't believe. Look, maybe some parts of Nigeria believe in that kind of thing, that people going out with bowls and so on. Most of Nigeria, most of Nigeria have never believed in actually depending on anyone. So I don't see why we want to start now. You know, what, what does 5,000 do for anybody? President Muhammadu Buhari has proposed to spend some $2.5 billion directly for job creation, financial support to artisans, and cash grants to the extremely poor segment of the Nigerian population. Under the program, one million extremely poor Nigerians would receive 5,000 naira every month in form of a social safety net. Kilechia Mekalam, CCTV Abuja, Nigeria.